I'm going to be using three and a half inches for my neck width. And then for the back neck depth, I'm going to be doing one inch. Then I'll connect it together. Don't forget this fabric is folded into fours. What that means is both the front and the back are folded together. All right, so I'll go ahead now. I'll cut this out. Then I'll remove the inner layer that's going to be for the back. Then I'm going to come back and reshape the front neckline to my desired length. All right, I'll remove the inner layer. That's going to be for the back. Then I'll come back, I'll reshape the front neckline. The front neckline is going to be a V neckline. The width for this neckline is three and a half, as you can see before we cut it out. And the depth is one inch for the back. So I'll remove the inner one. That's going to be my back. So take it out of the way. And then you fold this one back the way it is. So the next thing now is to input is to input the front neck depth. For the front neck depth, I'm going to be using seven inches. Show you seven inches this way. All right, so because of this type of color we are going to be making, so at this folded edge, at this point here, I'm going to go in by 0 0.75 inch. I'll connect from the neck width here. The neck width remain the same. So from the neck width here, connect it to that point this way. 0 0.75 inch can you see so this is how the front neckline is you can see this is how the front neckline so i'll bring back the back because the back, back is going to have zip i'm going to slit the center back and the neck depth at the back i'm going to measure five inches downward i'm going to slit up to that point okay so this is it from here to here is just five inches so this is the front this is the back back you can see we slit the center back i'll join both the front and the back together right side to right side and then you join the shoulders together with half inch seam allowance done joining it together the sleeve and the collar. this is how this is how it looks okay so now we are going to be measuring the neckline just fold your fabric like the way i'm showing you here match this back together you can see the back has slits so match the two mouths together like this and then place it like this the way i'm showing you now you can see this is where the back neckline is you can see the back neckline see the way i've done it so from here now just measure till you get to this point you can see how the center front neckline is you can see when we're cutting we go in by the quarter inch and then we cut a v neckline all right so from the center back now from the center back you measure the neckline till you get to this point not to here but to this point all right so i'll just measure what i have there now so here i have i have 13 inches all right so this 13 inches is what i'm going to use to cut out a strip of fabric that measure 13 inches but i'm going to add one inch to it so this is it then again you need to notch this point in front needs to notch it just notch it in an angle like this you can see the way it is let me touch it before i notch it so that you will not be confused can you see just in an angle like this just make an half inch cut just half inch you should not exceed half inch half inch cut can you see yeah like this can you see all right so now from the center back you measure the neckline to this your notching whatever you have there that's what you're going to use to cut out the collar yes i got 13 inches so i'll just add one inch to that that will be 14 inches so for the collar you're going to cut a strip of fabric that measured 14 inches you know when we measure that place that we want to put the collar we got 13 inches then i added one inch inch that makes it 14 inches so you're going to cut 
a fabric that measured 14 inches in length and then the width the width is going to be seven inches seven inches then you're going to fold it into two like this and then you are going to iron it such that this part here is going to be on fold so on fold now it's going to be three and a half inches exactly three and a half inches and then you are going to cut two exactly like this so you see another one so the length is 14 inches and then the width is seven inches then fold it into two like this and then you iron it flat all right and don't forget you're going to put interfacing that is you're going to put stay you're going to put stay inside this is called stay put it inside so this is it and this is what we have now place them on top of each other like this place the two of them together this way then add the lower part measure one and a half inch this from this folded edge, this part here is for is on fold so from this folded edge measure one and a half inch like this then from here you are going to be connecting it together this way this way can you see this way from here to here is one and a half inch then from this one and a half inch just slightly blend it back to this line then you're going to trim it off Can you see the way it is? So this part that we shaped now is going to be the front part, that is this side. This part that we shape is going to be the front part. So this is going to be the back, that is the center back. So you attach one to each of the sides. Right, so. All right, so you take one of the collar you are going to place it right side to right side with the neckline you can see the neckline so starting from the center back this is the center back can you see it you are going to place this i told you this is the back part that is this part that we did not reshape is the back part of it so mash it together right side to right side and then you're going to stitch to the neckline with half inch seam allowance all the way to the center front to where you have your notching in front rather you now we already notched the front can you see you sew it all the way to that point all right we have two pieces so what i will first do is sew it together so that they can they can become one piece All right, so you start sewing from the back, from the back neckline. This is my back neckline. So pick one side of the collar. Like I said, the part that we did not reshape is the back part. So mash it together, right side to right side, and then you're going to stitch till you get to the front. So you're going to stitch it till you get right, to so where you have to your notching. You can see my notching here. So you stitch it till that point. I'm using one hand to hold my phone so that you can see it better. And when you get to that point, you backstitch. And then you take it out of the way. This is the second side. This is one side that we have done. Can you see it? Can you see it? You can see our notching here. All right, so you also do the same thing to the second side. So starting from the center back again, you join together with half inch till you get to the front. This time around, the lace is on top. So you sew the second side again till you get to your notching. Can you see my notch here? All 
I sew, I'm done attaching the collar to the neckline. I started from the back neckline and I sew it all the way till I get to my notching in front. And I've done the same thing to the second side. So what I'm going to do next now is for me to turn this fabric to the wrong side. So from the wrong side, this is how it looks. You can see. This is how it looks. This is one side. And then this is the second side. So what you need to do is to come to this front part. So match them together like this. Place them on top of each other at this front part. Can you see? This is one side. And this is the second side. Can you see? Place them together like this. Let them rest on top of each other like this. Can you see? Like this. Then you pin or you just flip it so that you can see the other side of it. Can you see how it is from the other side? So now you pin it together. Delays together with these two. Pin them together. And then you take to the sewing machine, starting from where your seam line stop. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it. So this is where my seam line is. Starting from here, just sew it across to the other seam line. Can you see? So just take to the sewing machine and stitch. And that's of the color. It's ready. Make sure you back stitch. I'm just using one hand to hold my phone so that you people so that you can see it better. So make sure you backstitch and when you finish sewing, you also backstitch. Sew across like that. So the next thing now is for you to cut this SS. Just cut it off. You don't need it again. And that's it. Your collar is ready. So I'll go ahead now. I'll attach my zipper. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye. And that's it. Our gown is ready. <laughs> I love it. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So this is it. So don't forget you're going to also weave this your collar joining. Weave it. Let everything be nice and beautiful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.